Hey guys, it's me Alexandria and welcome to day 9 of VEDA. I am really sorry guys that I didn't film for um, VEDA 7 and 8. I just got really busy and it was really hard for me to actually film, but hopefully that won't happen for the rest of um, the month of April for VEDA. But today's question is from Tania, and hopefully I said that right, and she asked on YouTube, what are my top favorite Christian books that I would recommend for everyone to read? I have a lot, so I'm going to try and get through this really quickly. The first book that I would recommend is Money Matters for Teens by L. Allen um, Burkett and Lori Burkett. This is a fantastic book if you're trying to teach your teenager how to budget their money, not only so they can learn to save money, but also in a way that's pleasing to God. God. Great book, and I still read it even now, and I am definitely not a teenager, but it's a really simple, easy to read book. The next one is What Are You Waiting For by Dana Grush, and this is a really good book. This book is all talking about all the things about biblical sexuality and all the questions that we have about sex, like what is the whole point of, of waiting for it? Um, she kind of focuses on that. Another book is A Young Woman After God's Own Heart by Elizabeth George. This is also a really good book. It's all about just figuring out what is God's plan for your life? What is his purpose? And so it really teaches you how how to be that young woman after God's own heart. Another good book is Lies Young Women Believe by Nancy Lay DeMoss and um, Dana, Dana Grash. They have a one for Lies Women Believe and Lies Young Women Believe. So this one is geared more towards the teenage you know, girl. However, I also found this useful too for just being a young adult. So I would also recommend this too if you are a young woman and you're just, you know, wanting to talk about all the things that we tend to believe about love, about God, about ourselves that aren't actually biblically true. Bride War White by Dana Gresh. This is my top, my number one all-time favorite book ever. This book is really good and it talks about, again, sexual purity and what it means to be sexually pure. It's so much more deeper than just not having sex until you're married. Another book that I have to recommend is Telling Yourself the Truth by William Backus and Marie Chapian. I would recommend this that anybody read it and if you're a counselor, and I know I have quite a few counselor um, followers here, I would really recommend that not you not only read this but that you, for yourself, but you read it also for your practice, especially if you're a Christian counselor. This book, you should already have it in your library. Beth Moore, who is my second favorite author, Breaking Free, and this book is all about learning how to forgive, learning how to practice true surrender so you can live a really freeing type of life. The Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman, who is another favorite author of mine. I would recommend that you get this book and that you read it and that you fall in love with it because it's awesome. And another one is Anger, Handling a Powerful Emotion in a Healthy Way by Dr. Gary Chapman as well. That's also a book that I would recommend for my followers. The Bondage Breaker, they have one for teenagers, which is the one that I actually read when I was a teenager. And then I read this again a couple months ago and I might even read it again. If you're struggling with, you know, kind of spiritual freedom and, you know, bondage to addictions or negative thinking and things like that, you've got to get this book and again if you're a counselor or studying to become a counselor you have to put this in your library I mean it's important for you but it's also important for the people that you will be counseling get out of that pit by Beth Moore um, I suggested this in one of my other videos but I really I'm reading this one now and this is really really good about learning how to stop the negative thinking and learning how to actually get yourself out of the negative thought or feeling that you're feeling at this present moment, or if you're not feeling it, then learning how to get out of it for when you are tempted to feel it. So great book. I'm still reading it, so I'll have to get back to you a little bit more on this one, but it's a really good book, so I recommend it. And then my last one is Councils on Diets and Food by Ellen White. Really amazing book. I, you don't even have to, again, it's a little bit thick, but you don't even have to read it all at once if you want to just look at certain topics. She talks about the importance of, you know, learning how to control our appetites, learning what are healthy foods to eat, um, and things like that, how it affects our health and our teeth and all this stuff so really really good book if you can get this one councils on diet and foods on um, by Ellen G White really good book that my friends 
is all the books that I would recommend for you Christian readers to read. I know this was a long video, but you made it through. So I will see you guys tomorrow for Veda Day uh, 10. And if you have any questions, leave them down below as a comment or as a video response. You can also ask me on Twitter or Facebook. You can see, uh, you can ask me on twitter.com slash ajwilson412 or fan me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Mount Ephraim Center and ask me there. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Bye.